Hello all you YouTubers and general interweb denizens. This is Mr. Grind and earlier I put up a video showing you my method for combat deployment, what I call and others probably call passive deployment. You send them off, you hope the percentages are right, some come back, a very small number don't, but you get a lot of medals that way which is one of the great reasons for doing combat deployments. But every now and then you got an S++, let's say. You got an R&D guy you need for development. You don't want to just take the chance of sending them out and hoping they come back. So that's what we're going to do right now. And if you, again, if you want to see that method, uh, put a link at the end of this video. You can go back and check that out. Right now, we're going to take a look at the safer way, the more controlled way, where there is pretty much no way you're going to lose your guy one way or the other. So the first thing we need to do is go over here to combat deployment, make sure you're on combat unit suitability, ascending in the sort menu. And uh, yeah, Ocelot, I don't need him right now. He's going to come back soon enough anyway. I just need to make one space because you cannot play as one of these soldiers, staff members, unless they are in the combat unit. So I'm going to try and find uh, the first guy down this list. You see I got base development unit suitability, dis excuse me, unit suitability ascending that means it goes from the lowest level to the highest so I just pop up to the top here and I'm looking for the first guy that does it there we go I saw some flash in there here we go let's take this guy gray wasp huh it's one of the few names I like and this is very arbitrary this guy's got no skills but I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes anybody you got that you want to hold on to you like their skills you like their uh, level whatever it is this is the method that'll work. So we'll take Gray Wasp as an example. We're going to make him a direct contract to put a little lock up there. I'll explain why in a minute. Now we've made space over in the combat unit. He's over there. Excellent. So now go to the mission list. Go down to mission number four, C2W. And we are going to launch that bad boy. And we're going to make the landing zone right in the midst of the hot zone. First thing we got to do is uh, find our guy. <clears throat> so, see right there, that lock just flew by. That's why I put it on there. It's not because I want to hold on to this guy right now. It's just I need to find him. If you don't put that on there, you got to go through and find him by name. If there's someplace in the middle, it can be maddening. Here's my loadout, SVG-76, water pistol. The magazine, um, I think that's mandatory, I can't remember, but it doesn't cost anything, it doesn't matter. NVG, down in the items, I'm going to use that in a second, and you'll see that. But this is one of the cheapest loadouts. You want to make sure that you got some good body armor on. Uh, nothing that, I use uh, this, the level below, number six, was this, number five, battle, battle dress armor. And that will keep you guys safe through this mission. We're going to launch at night. And really quick, uh, if something goes wrong in here, um, you're just, if you've never run this mission or whatever it is, your guy gets killed, something happens, just hit the pause button, go back to the last checkpoint, it'll start all over, your guy will be there again. Uh, that's one of the things that's great about this. There's, a, there's literally almost no way you can lose a staff member doing this. And I, I thought about speeding this up, but for those of you that haven't run this mission, or for those of you who maybe just run it once when you were doing a story or whatever, it doesn't hurt to have a little refresher. I put on the navigation lamp, the goggles, get the machine gun ready, go into first person, and start right off shooting this guy up front here. Sometimes when you go for this guy, you'll hit the uh, radar right behind him. These guys take a lot of punishment, I'll tell you what. Right there it is. Where are you guys? See, the, with the nav gogg goggles, they light up just a little bit. Just enough to get a beat on them. And even though they're not the primary focus, it does help. The body armor is going to protect you enough. But... It doesn't hurt to make these guys stop shooting you. Let me get that on the swing around. I'm going to get out of first person because I can see a little better. Let's get these guys. Can I get them? All right, anybody else down there? 
And just a little word to the wise, it's kind of tempting to shoot the injured guys on the ground. That's fine if that's your style of play. I used to do that all the time, not thinking. But it turns out that's how I ended up being Demon Snake. Shooting wounded prisoners when they're on the ground will put you in bad graces. So if you don't care about that, don't worry. A little bit later, I'm going to be putting out a video about how to get rid of Demon Snake. So there you go. You saw the little notice at the bottom. It said proficiency increased. I kind of missed there. I don't know. I don't think it said it, but it'll say that usually you have to run this mission three times and then you will get a promotion and it'll say proficiency increased significantly and then right underneath it, it will say been awarded the, I think it's called the service award. There we go. Combat service award. Forgive me. I can't remember the exact name. There's three medals, but we're only focusing on one right now. So there you go. That was one run. And then you rinse, wash, repeat until the medal shows up. And I don't think this guy got a medal, but we'll find out soon enough. Let's, uh, let's say we're at the end of it. Uh, you saw the medal notification show up. We're going to put this guy back where he belongs. But before we do that, we have to switch out. And unfortunately, the only way we can do that is by going back to the sortie prep screen. Um, when you're playing as a character, uh, they are, it considers them on a com some combat mission and it won't let you do anything with them. So we're going to want to put this guy back in his original unit. So he is no longer my guy. I'm back to being snakes. So we're going to go back to staff management. Put this under direct contracts. Another way to find this guy really nice and easy. Make it descending so he shows up at top. And there he is. Yeah, he didn't get a medal yet. Normally what would happen is you run this three times. This guy, you see a, you'll see you see a little medal symbol down in the lower right. And you will know. See like that right there. That's one of the medals we're looking for. He doesn't have one yet. But I'm going to go ahead and put him back. Um, I need to make a space because he goes in base development. So let's take this guy temporarily, put him in the waiting room, go back, take Gray Wasp, put him in base development, go back to base development. And uh, you don't have to do this all at once. You can come back and do it later. I like to do it at the time because I forget. Where is he? What was he? Gray Wasp. Yeah, he's coming. In. Well, great given. Great. I have like 82 gray octopus. How many grays are there? Well, I'm not going to do it right now, but uh, normally you go back and you'd find him and you take him off direct contract. Unless it's one of your characters you want to make sure you keep forever. Uh, the other good reason to do that mission is in order to reset resources out in the world of Metal Gear Solid, you have to run at least five other missions. So if you're looking to reset some containers, things like that, that's a great way to do it. Run that thing five times, basically rank up two soldiers, and you will be set. So that's it. Um, like I said, stick around to the end of this video and hit uh, like, subscribe as well. But there will be a link to my other video showing you how to sit back, relax, and not have to do all this work and send out multiple staff members and get lots of medals. I'm uh, I'm getting close to completely medaled out. It's going to be a little while longer, but it's filling up pretty quick. All of them are more than half, so that's great. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, hope to uh, see you sometime. I'm going to start live streaming sometime soon, but for now, thank you for being here, and I will see you soon.